Hello, hello, and good morning. Today we will be creating together. I am excited to craft together and finish our ghost seeds that we started. These are the examples over here. And if you would like to make these ghosts as well, you can hang them up in your windows or on the wall. Here is a supplies list that you can use for the ghosty craft. Alrighty, I hope that gave everyone enough time to look over the supplies that will be used in the ghosty craft. If you make any ghosts today, feel free to post them in the Discord or tag me in them. I love to share art and I love to craft. Let's craft together. So today... We got the ghost. We're going to start that up in a few minutes. And then we will also be calling Sundays our self awareness Sundays. We have something new, but first we're going to finish these ghosts. Um, I have a lot of projects going on, and I'm trying to balance a lot of them. Midterms coming up soon, so for these I painted the eyes. I don't have any more of these, the bows that I used because I got them from my mom. So today I'm just going to use yarn, give them a little bow, and then I'm going to use a sharpie today to kind of pick up the pace. Sometimes you just got to utilize what you have and make sure you try and balance everything crafts painting homework sometimes it's hard to balance it all but make time for things that are important to you and things that help you learn We'll be working on the hemp necklace a little bit as well. There we go. We got one face. And I decided to um, finish up the rest of the loom off stream. I've got a bit too many projects going on right now. And I got a 
make sure I get them in an order that's ready for me to study for midterms. I have a quiz today, too. One of my favorite courses that I've taken in college is um, ECE 430. It's about how to involve um, anti-biased curriculum into your classroom. And it's also about diversity. And cut that piece of yarn right there. We have ghosts of different sizes. All are beautiful. I want to make some jellyfish like this someday. I'll get to it. <laughs> Finish up the current projects first. And you can I'll be hanging these up in the window here. You're gonna look cute. Here we go. So now we have eyes on our goes. And we're going to add some ribbons to them by using yarn. Feel free to utilize the materials that you have. Excuse me. Yeah, if you do this ghost craft and um, with children and families um it's definitely a craft for the the older children in about fourth fifth and sixth grade because they will have the motor skills to be ready for that And I will make sure that I share the supplies list of what you need for this craft. But um, I would definitely recommend for the younger children to do this with their caregivers and guardians. Because um, you will need to poke a hole through the top of the ghost head that way. Safety first.
so now we have we have these ghosts as well let's move these down a bit so this is the collection of ghosts that we have made nice fun little ghost craft And here's the supplies list for you. Hope you have a great time making the ghosts. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Welcome, welcome. So we have our ghosts. We finished this craft today. I will try my best to get pictures of them up in the window. Um, if you made a ghost, feel free to share them in the Discord. You can use bows, yarn, you can also use toilet paper, Kleenex, trash bags, or even gift wrap tissue paper for the ghost in the future i do hope to make jellyfish like this hello i hope you're having a great sunday it's going to be a great start of the week here's some positivity your way and next we're going to take a self-care break and we're going to set up for the hemp necklace so coming up on the screen i will share some details about a plur package giveaway
And we're back. We're gonna put some effort into making some progress with this beautiful spider pendant necklace. It, it will be a hemp necklace. And we're using some green seed beads to accent it to represent trees, branches, and leaves. Let's see how far we can get today. So we have one, two. Gotta make sure we count correctly. Um, on Halloween at noon PST, I will be sharing how to sign some words in American Sign Language that are Halloween themed related. So if there are any words that are Halloween themed related that you would like to know how to sign in American Sign Language, feel free to drop it in the chat. Um, it is my first language and I'm happy to help others learn. So that will be at noon PST. And then we will also be doing that in the evening again on my boyfriend's channel. That's where the giveaway will be held. All right, so we're going to try and make it all the way up here today, but we'll see how we're feeling. go we rolled away <laughs> now I have another project that I'll be working on after I eat some lunch later but first we are working on this hemp necklace So it is Stringy Sunday, and I'm also introducing something new for Sundays. Um, I'm going to try and do set days of streaming on Sundays. Uh, there were, I do have some illnesses, and I'm a, I'm a strong, brave individual that has several pains during this time of year and so sometimes I will have to miss out on some streams but I'm gonna try my best to try and stream every Sunday so Sundays are stringy Sundays meow 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 and then they are also self-awareness Sundays we're gonna do journals and reflection. It's very important to learn things from a different perspective and um, my goal for doing this journal prompt with the community um, I, I don't want to be able to interact, socialize, and learn about one another. Knowing about one another's morals and values really shows and tells how a person truly is 
as a whole and what they have experienced. So the journal prompt that I am giving out and sharing with the community um, is about, let me show you. Alrighty, and so let's bring this back for a moment. So the prompt and what we are reflecting about um, is effort. You can do your journal um, in a form of art like this or you, or you can write it on a paper you can type it you can literally just type it in an email or send it to me um so for this project i actually have a powerpoint on it basically what are five things that you would like to put effort into on one side of the hand each finger put something that you want to put more effort into because our hands they show how much effort we put into things it's a very big part about communication and then on the other side you can also do things you think you are awesome at so you can do it this way and when you do this um, prompt for what you are awesome at and what you want to put more effort in share three three five things three to five things you can do it this way or write it out um here's some more information about the deadlines so for submissions here you go hope to see people participate and share with me what they would like to put more effort in and what they think they're awesome at. Let's get back to our hemp necklace. Let's change up the music. There we go.
Excuse me. You have some water. <laughs> Got a meow full over here. Stringy Sundays, meow. Doing up here, you know not to come on this desk. And this spider hemp necklace will be available when it is complete. If you are interested in it, I will let you know when it is posted and available. You know, for the Fleur Package giveaway, um, there's some really beautiful art in there that my boyfriend made. And that I will also be including a loom beanie in there. It will not be a custom beanie, it is one that I have already made. And there will be some parlors. Lots of love. Lots of love. We want to help her smile. So 
after I feed this through, I'm going to heat up some food for myself. So we're going to take a self-care break soon. So one, two, then self-care. When not. Two not. I will be right back and get me some food. Self care break. We got some spicy food. I don't know if I'll be able to eat it, but I'm going to try. So for those of you who are just dropping by, we are working on a hemp necklace with green accent beads. This is trying to represent the leaves and the branches. There is a Halloween giveaway coming up. Here are the beads. Well, let's snack on some food.
Let's grab some more seed beads. If you have crafted anything today, feel free to share in my Discord. I will share a link below shortly. Let's get that Discord link for ya. There we go. So if you made any art today and crafted with me, feel free to share. There is a art section. Yeah, I still need to get the hemp choker that we made, I believe, last week. The one that has about a, let's see, they're kind of fuchsia accent beads. That one is still available, but haven't gotten to pictures quite yet. There we go. Through the bead. I'm going to change the tempo a bit for the music. We're slowing down, which is good, because you don't always have to move fast. Progress at your own pace. Gonna take a bite out of some yummy food. Get your food in. I have a thing where I prefer eating with plastic food. Um, I don't like too many sounds. All at once at least. Let's get some upbeat. Let's try this.
Mm. Meow, 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 meow. I know you smell my food. Meow, meow, meow. Does it smell good? Meow, meow, meow. I'm talkative today, huh? Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow. Drinky Sundays. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, thank you. Is that how you feel? Yeah? Meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow. I'm going to straighten this out a bit right here. There we go. Let's get it back. I'm not using these green seed beads over here. And our goal is to at least make it up to here. that over. Nobody likes flying beads. And scoot in. I think we'll get to the goal today. Be proud of every step that you take. And I think we're doing a terrific job with representing the trees, earth, and the branches. Spiders are definitely not my favorite um, insect, that's for sure, but they are very, very majestic. It's amazing what animals and insects can do making webs like wow that is such talent I'm going to take a small bite of food, one, two, then food. I'm trying to improve on uh, not signing everything that I do because it, it takes up a lot of energy.
take a bite, take a bite. Hello, we're making a hemp necklace today. I'm just having a quick gnaw on over here. I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for stopping by. We made some ghosts earlier. We have a spider pendant. And then the color scheme that I went for, I'm trying to make it represent branches, leaves, and trees. The goal for today is to get to the end of the macrame board. I will be hosting a Plur package giveaway on Halloween with my boyfriend El Raver Jesus. Here is some information about Halloween. And then I am also starting something new where Sundays are stringy Sundays, Mount, and they are also about self-awareness Sundays. So every Sunday I will have a prompt and then the following Sunday, it'll be a journal prompt, but the following Sunday we will share the submissions with the community. Self-awareness is very important. It helps the future develop and the more self-aware you are about different surroundings and cultures makes you a better you. That's my opinion at least. So this week's journal prompt is So this week's prompt is effort. You can write about five things that you would like to put more effort into. You can type it and you can send it to me. It's kind of like a journal that way as a community we can share. And then I do have information that where you can send it to. Um, I just want to socialize, interact and just share things about each other with the community. If you do not want to type, you can also do it in an art form. Here's something where on every finger we put one thing that we'd like to put more effort into. And then on the back side, every finger you put something that you think you're awesome at. You can send in a submission this way or type for the journal prompt of effort and here is the information for submissions.
thank you, thank you to anyone that stops by. We almost made it to our goal. Stringy Sundays, meow. Alright. 